Shankar Swain is the Ekadasi. And Prabhupada said, then observed the Ekadasi the next day. Although he didn't break the fast, but Prabhupada that day also took grains <laughs> with us. Like that shows his compassion for his disciples. In Rishikesh, Prabhupada was uh, lecturing there every evening giving a class. Famous Maharishi Mahesh Yogi was also in Rishikesh at the time. And many of his teachers were coming to attend Prabhupada's lectures. Uh, so at that point, um, Maharishi sent a note to Prabhupada saying that, Swamiji, I've heard that you are quite ill. Perhaps you should not exert yourself so much. Better not to lecture in the evenings. Because he felt worried that so many of his teachers were listening to Prabhupada. One European lady was there, a very sweet lady, and she asked Prabhupada, you know, it's very nice what you're preaching, but what are you doing for the suffering of the people of the world? And you would think that Prabhupada would be very um, sensitive to her being an elderly European lady. Well, Prabhupada, he just exploded. He said, what do you know about mercy? What do you understand about compassion? It is simply sentiment. He said that your idea of giving, you know, some sort of relief to people's suffering is like blowing air on a boil. It's full of pus. The kind act you can do for such a person is to cut it. So mercy means to cut through the ignorance that the persons are under. And our preaching is based on this understanding that ignorance causes suffering and that to enlighten people is the way to freedom from ignorance. So everything was very wonderful in Rishikesh and Prabhupada was very restful and we were having a wonderful time. <laughs> and then all of a sudden one day there was this huge storm and it looked so ominous. and. It was not only heavy rain, but there was a storm. And the storm made some electric poles topple over in some place and electric supply got disrupted. And it became very cold also, cold, rainy and wind. And it was very kind of eerie, you know, like ominous. And, and those days I used to attend Srila Prabhupada from 12 to 2. And it was around 1 o'clock. Prabhupada just called me and he told me that the time has come for me to die and I want to die in Vrindavan. So make arrangements to take me to Vrindavan. And it was such a shock as if it was a bolt from the blue. So that night only we packed everything up and we decided to leave the next morning. Radha Krishna Padaravinda Bhajana Nandina Matvalika Vande Rupas Tanatana Raghu Yuga Sridiva Gopalaka Vande Rupas Tanatana Raghu Yuga Sridiva Gopalaka Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 H